The Mac OS High Sierra update is coming on September 25th, 2017, which is in just a few days. But will it work with your Wacom tablet and your digital art software? That's coming up next. Thanks for joining me today. I'm digital artist Aaron Rutten, and let's talk a little bit about the Mac OS High Sierra update in regards to how it's going to work with your Wacom tablet. So for those of you who don't know what this is, this is an update to the Mac operating system. I recommend that you wait to install Mac OS High Sierra. Why? Because according to Wacom, they're still working on a driver update to support this operating system, and it's not gonna be ready until late October. The existing driver will not work, so we suggest not to upgrade to High Sierra until the new driver is released. Wacom also has some more information. Besides, Adobe, Corel, and Autodesk will also not have 1013 updated software until mid to late October as well, and are affected with the same issue. So what this means is if you're a Mac user and you update to High Sierra when it comes out in a couple of days on September 25th, there's a good chance that your Wacom tablet's not gonna work and quite possibly your software like Adobe and Corel Painter and Autodesk and perhaps a lot of other applications that are dependent on using your tablet will not work as well. So if you have your operating system set to update automatically, make sure to disable that and set it to manual update and just wait to update your operating system. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So there's no real advantage to updating unless you really, really need to. And this advice applies to any update for drivers or software. It's generally best to wait at least a few days or a week or so, maybe even longer to see if that update actually works with your hardware and your software. There's gonna be plenty of people out there who will update immediately and they can be the guinea pigs. And if it breaks their computer, then that's unfortunate for them but hopefully the knowledge they share will keep you from making that same mistake too. So again, if you own a Wacom tablet, do not update to Mac OS High Sierra until the updated Wacom driver has been released in October. If you found this information helpful, take a quick second to like this video. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. I have a lot more videos for digital artists like you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.